See so everyone setting up the bungee launcher, hopefully for the first flight this year. As you can see, got a wee peg going through there just to hold it in. Um, we'll attach the bungee cord, a um, bit of string there, to the cord and then up to the plane. Um, standard, standard bungee ramp. The only thing um, I'm not happy about this is these wee braces in the middle um, sometimes. Um, just make sure they're straight or you'll end up catching your wings So you can see plenty of paint on it So let's get to the elastic Check it out, there we go Yeah, 8mm cord And then as you can see we've got a long string I've just got a keyring holder on the end And then a short string keyring holder again Which will attach to the plane on the bungee hook as you can see, I um, actually chopped it up with a propeller um, and the cord just snapped here, just wear and tear. So what I normally do is take the long ring, attach it on there. Ideally, before we go any further, you'll want to peg it in to stop it moving. Um, you would want two pegs, but I've only got one here. So let's say, Big string attached to the cord and then the small string with a loop will attach to the plane on the bungee hook. Leave that there. So the rubber. How I do it, obviously have your bungee ramp set in the desired direction, preferably into the wind. However, um, I'm happy just launching it. So, pull it, that's the natural flex gone. What I'll do is I'll stretch it out and you'll feel the tension till I'm quite happy that it's tight. Yes, I could go further. And then obviously make sure it's in nice and secure and nice and tight um, at an angle. So, what are we looking at? One, two, three. Probably about 10 metres, 10 metres stretch. Um, I think it's a 5 metre cable, we can measure that out. So there's a the bungee hook, excuse the damage. So CG, round about there, as you can see, numerous marks. I've got uh, balancing on about 120. So from the centre of gravity, probably about a third, um, just hot glue, good bit of hot glue globed on it, um, and then two thirds to the nose, and that's how I tend to launch all my planes. Get on at the ramp, once you're happy with it, make sure that it runs up nice and smooth, yep, fine there. And then the small hook, like I say, onto the bungee hook. Just push the plane back ever so slightly, just to take off any flex that's there. And she's good to launch. So, about 10 meters, maybe more, onto there. And then you can see there's a wee triangle onto the pin at the back that's the launch pin and onto the bungee hook itself now just bear in mind when you're on the bungee and you've got a flat um, flat wing just remember when you're testing your control surfaces um, they probably won't go to how you're expecting it obviously it's forcing itself against the wing Right, well, we've got controls. One, two, three, launch. You could probably go a bit tighter. In fact, that's what we'll do. So it's on the pin. We're going to tighten this up a wee bit. Pull it again. And it is quite tight. You could probably get another metre, maybe two. But I don't want to put too much stress on the bungee cord. Hook it up to the bungee. It's 
slow I'll put it back push it back and just make sure you pick up any slack estimated centre of gravity is there which is probably right got the bungee hook a third probably a wee bit more than a third or sorry less two thirds to the nose so I think the hook should probably be about there um, it may very well launch like a kite and um, the closer to the centre of the gravity you get, the more it's like running with a kite. Yeah, it's fine. Let's get a battery in it. And let's get it on the ramp. See how it is. Right, obviously it's just dipping down. Due to the fact if the centre of gravity is there, it's not balancing. Um, because there's no wing, there's no wing at the front here obviously with the, sh with the shape of the plane so when it's balanced it, it just tips down how can we resolve that? we could resolve it by just let's get it hooked up relieve the tension and then we could hold the finger on it then here it's just to see how the flying centre of the gravity is. One, two, three. Ooh! <laughs> centre of gravity looks pretty cool. And as you can see, that's certainly shot off there. So in terms of weight, it's a lot lighter than the SU-75. Oh. 